Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us. It's time for our health tip with Dr. Lee Weisbard. You can find all of everything you want to follow up with Dr. Weisbard at weisbarddental.com and the phone number 303-773-3373. Dr. Weisbard, welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Weisbard. What are we talking about today? Today we're going to talk about veneers, and that's a real hot topic, buzzword. Everybody wants veneers. But what I want to talk about is what are veneers and why would you get veneers? Mm, all right. Um, you know, I, you know I, would, I would absolutely have to ask those questions myself. So I've heard the phrase. I've heard the term. It's all Hollywood. I really don't know, I don't know what a veneer is. So lead us on, Dr. Weisbard. Great. A veneer is just what it sounds like. It is a veneer or a shell that covers over something else, just like if you had plywood and you put a walnut veneer over it. So in the mouth, what a veneer is, it's a thin porcelain shell that covers a tooth. It's a more permanent solution to different types of problems, such as somebody who has very worn edges on their teeth or discoloration or crowding or Facing, or they just hate the way their teeth look. What a veneer can do is it can go over the tooth and fill in spaces, adjust and correct for position, and and change color and change the surface texture and the anatomy of your front teeth. You know what? I, I'm actually thinking I could be a great candidate for veneers because I've got a gap in my front two teeth. Is it, would that solve for that? It would. If you if you have a crown already, you have to put another crown on it because the tooth has already been trimmed down to fit a crown. So, And we can do crowns and veneers, and it all kind of works together. What the veneer will do, it's, it's a more permanent solution as opposed to some people say, can I just get bonding? Bonding is a plastic resin material. And if you think about the difference between, like, a Tupperware bowl and a glass bowl, right. if you put something in there and left it overnight and then rinsed it, the Tupperware bowl is kind of tinged and the glass is clear. When you do bonding, you have to deal with repairs, staining, chipping. It's not really um, as permanent, so to speak, or long-term as a veneer. So a veneer is really a more permanent solution. And veneers definitely will close Spaces. It will change the way you you look. Um, it, they're wonderful. It's a wonderful, wonderful service. Now, Dr. Lee, are veneers just for the front teeth? Um, most of the time, it is for the front teeth. Okay. In general, a veneer is so thin that you really don't want to use it on biting surfaces or grinding surfaces. You can do premolars, kind of go back a little bit, but again, it's only for that surface on the front of the tooth. It's where you smile. It's the teeth you see when you smile or talk, exactly. right? Exactly, and it does in the front add strength, support. It can add length to the teeth if you gr- if people grind their teeth and they've ground them down. It can add length and really restore your teeth to look like you, but 20 years ago, which I, is just amazing. I think that sounds so exciting, um, Dr. Weisbard, because if you've got issues with your mouth, you know, I know we're all trying to have a more youthful um, smile by whitening our teeth and doing some different things. But um, is it? Is it a lengthy process? How many visits does it take to, to come out with a, with a beautiful smile? If it's done properly, placing veneers is a two-procedure two um, visit. The first visit, we trim the teeth a little bit because we don't want great big thick veneers. I like to do a very, very minor trimming of the tooth, kind of just take off a little of that surface, and then we will typically put temporary veneers on so that you go home, you don't have sensitivity, you look nice. And then about three weeks later, my laboratory will send us back these beautiful porcelain veneers, and then we bond them to place. Because I tend to be a little picky, and I tend to take my time to do it just right, it does take about three hours each appointment. You know what? You want somebody picky. Yeah, I will tell you that. So I love that about you, Dr. Weisbard. You are incredibly picky about the smiles of your clients. Tell our listeners where they can go and, and choose the pickiest dentist in dentistry. Well, the, I just wanted to say also that a lot of people say they can do veneers, but you really want to be careful and get something that's translucent, lifelike, You don't want your teeth to look like you're wearing veneers. You want them to look like beautiful, natural teeth. And I can be reached at 303-773-3373 or at weissbarddental.com. And we are happy to do a complimentary consultation to just do an evaluation and let you know if veneers are a good solution for you. 
Fantastic. Dr. Lee, thank you so much for sharing uh, this, this tip with us. My pleasure. All right. Uh, WeisbardDental.com. Go to the dentist that I go to, Dr. Lee Weisbard. What a great, great tip that is because I am thinking I know so many people that want a picky dentist. Oh, yeah. That would be fantastic. I want veneers.